<laughs> Section two is our news and notes, our tits and bits, or what I call, do you give a bleep? I yes. really don't give a bleep tonight, but we're going to go through. These are five stories. This this normally, normally Carissa compiles them and surprises me with them, and I'm kind of a news junkie, so I'm relatively okay with just talking about whatever pops up in the news. Uh-huh. Plus, it's do you give a bleep, so if I don't know, I just don't give a bleep. Uh, what's our first story? First story, the mini NES Classic Edition. Ah, yes. I know all about this. You don't know. Did you read the article? I, I glanced over it. It's, it's, it's a hundred and, I believe they sold 196,000 yes. Nintendo NES about, Classics. Yeah. The NES Classic is, uh, is and, like... And that was just in the month of November. Yeah. And, you know, I have a Nintendo right here hooked up, ready to go. Uh... But they're much smaller. They're smaller than a cartridge for the Nintendo. They have an HDMI output. That's the and it uses a controller that looks and feels like a Nintendo controller. Those are the big does selling it, points. So does it not use a cartridge or? No, everything's pre-built in. Comes with thirty games built in for six, for fifty nine ninety nine. It's actually a pretty good deal. Unless you've got all the cartridges from when you were a kid. And, and I do. You know. I, that's why I don't have one. Then it's worthless. That's why that's why I don't have one is because I have an EverDrive, which is okay. how I'm going to make that album I was talking about yes. before. Um, I'm going to make a chip tune album, I swear. And you it's swear. Go, it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's going to be right after the Volca album. Uh, and I also have most of the games that it comes with. But it's very cool. If you don't have the games, I, the, the, the problem is, is that Everybody kind of knew it was going to be the hot toy that was scarce. Mm -hmm. So scalpers have been scalping the crud out of it. I went out of curiosity the other day and looked it up on Amazon. They were going for about $200, $250 on Amazon. Uh, Pat the NES punk, Pat Contry, who passed me that book over there, he wrote this. I've been on him to come on the podcast, and um, I bought the book. It's a good book. It's called The Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the NES Library. Uh... I'm I'm just a big fan. I've been watching his videos for years. I'm going to see if I can get him on here. We'll have a conversation. But uh, he's been tracking the prices. It looks like they maybe go down to about 160 What were you seeing? Uh, I wasn't seeing prices, but what I was seeing was that Nintendo clearly did not produce enough and did not anticipate demand well at all because... Right. If they only moved... No, they anticipated demand exceptionally well. No. They, they wanted d- to be known as the company that had the hard-to-get toy this year because they have the Switch coming in March. It was a brilliant move. It Ye- sucks if your kid is like, I must have this, but it's an inten- it's it's a remake of a system that's 30 years old. It's really only for people my age. And by the way, Ye- my friend got one, my friend Andrea from high school, uh-huh. and she was so happy, and I'm so glad she got one. She she looked thrilled. I mean, if you don't have the a way to play these on with the actual controller, it's got to be just the coolest thing ever. I guess, but it just seems like it still seems like a bad business move. Because, you know, you've got this incredible demand for this product and yet you moved less than 200,000 units. Well, it's, in, that's all they produced. They only yeah. made 200,000 of them. Yeah, but it seems like you could either use that to drive up the price, like which the is, actual which is retail what, price, not the scalp price. Well, so here's the thing, right? Because I mean, Sony, they would have been jerks if they would have charged more than than sixty bucks for the thing. Then they should have they should have produced more because there is the demand for it at that price point. And yeah. I mean, so, Sony moved one thousand units of the PS4 on launch day alone. Hundred thousand? Hun- no, million. Oh, a million they moved a million? One million PS4s on launch day alone. Yeah, but that's so, that's a real Apple... This is more... The NES Classic is more comparable to, like... And we don't have them, really, because we have... My, my hobby outside of... I, I have a job. I have a day job. I do this. And then I have a hobby, which is collecting vintage video games. And I don't... I'm not gonna... I, I've talked about doing some gameplay and stuff on the channel... You're against it, though, right? Yeah. So leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see some oh. some some gameplay, if you want to see me playing Contra or something. Everybody else does gameplay. I know. That's why I haven't started doing it. But, I mean, if everybody wants some of it, I could I could totally do a, I could do some special episodes or, or put together some, like, time so that maybe I can take a week off eventually. 
But yeah, the uh, I agree they should have produced more. They probably could have made. They probably could have sold a million of them at fifty nine ninety nine, and yeah. and it still would have been hard to find, and it still would have been scalped at a million. So it does suck because basically either you had to get, either you had to really go track one down, mm-hmm. which it, which was tough because there are people who make a living buying these scarce items and then selling them for a markup, and you know it it feels slimy and schemy and I don't I don't do it but I'm not gonna begrudge somebody I'm making a living, but the reality is you know all of those guys either they're gonna sell them off now. Mm-hmm. Because they've got they at the not all of those are are bought up. There's a glut of them on eBay at at one hundred and fifty dollars right now. Well, yeah, because everybody knows no, it's not worth it at that price. Right, and uh, there's rumors that Ninten- Nintendo has uh, shipped more units. Okay. So it's not like this was a limited run. This mm-hmm. is just the initial run. But they do this every single time. They did it with the with the amiibos. Like, I got my little Pikachu amiibo I love so very much. The other day, I, I was looking out at the wall, and the light coming out of here off the shelf goes through the door. There's a little Pika, Pikachu shadow on the wall. Yeah, I still don't understand those. I still don't understand the point of those. Oh, like, you can put them on your game, and, and it, it accesses content that's not available otherwise. And some of it actually, like... But it's goofy. It's like, you know, yeah, now Pikachu's think... wearing antlers or whatever. Like, you know, reindeer antlers. And Merry Christmas. That's the kind of stuff that they do with those. I just wanted the little plastic statue of the cute little mouse. <laughs> okay. I had a chinchilla growing up. So, okay. so yeah, I give. A, I don't really give a bleep, though, because they came out. I didn't really want one. And I specifically mentioned, like, don't go buying me one. Don't go. No, you you, me- you mentioned one. Not you mentioned me not buying you one after I'd already not bought you one for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a little slow. All right. So yeah, I wasn't about to buy you one when you've already got that the one next to you. And and this is way, but this was a much bigger chunk of change. That, that sure. EverDrive was 150 dollars or something. Sure, but it's everything. It's granted I've had the Nintendo for thirty years. But it works. Yeah, well, with my loving care. I've had to Everything works after thirty years with your loving care. I Yeah, that's true. you know it... But I I mean I have to keep that thing running. It's not yeah. the most reliable machine. Of course not. Yeah. It's a thirty year old video game machine that was only meant to last like five years, maybe. <sighs> I don't know about that. Maybe ten. But I'm curious what everybody thinks. What's your favorite system? Mine is the Nintendo. I like, and I'm sure a whole hi Studio Cat. Studio Cat's gonna complain in the background today. Um, yeah, I don't give a bleep. You give a bleep? No, because I'm not a video game person. Yeah, you tell yourself that. What level are you on in Candy Crush? Mm-hmm. All right. What's next? What is next? <sighs> <laughs> 